Okay. So today is April Fool's Day. It's April 1st. And uh, as you know, many people all across the world took to X.com to publish their April Fool's jokes. Uh, Israel was also involved in this matter. Is like the official country country the official government of israel uh participated in the april fool's tomfoolery on x.com by taking a targeted strike at yours truly i woke up to the israeli government tweeting at me attacking me on twitter and honestly uh <laughs> like someone this was not me uh, someone said, I think it was Chris Morlock. Chris Morlock said, Israel's tweet this morning proves that being an Israeli, being a Zionist has nothing to do with uh, Judaism or being a Jewish person because this tweet was so unfunny that it hurt. And, you know, J Jewish people are supposed to be comedic geniuses. This tweet did not did not strike the chords of my comedic heart. This tweet was not funny. Just being objective here. But uh, Israel, yes, I guess, in the midst of committing a genocide, in the midst of blowing up hospitals, in the midst of striking Iranian military officials, in the midst of blowing up United Nations officials, still has time to take to Twitter to post some uh, April Fool's jokes. And this is what they posted. This is what I will... First thing... You know, I'm 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 waking up and imagine me I'm waking up in the morning enjoying my morning coffee I walk down to the coffee shop I don't like to look at my phone right away when I wake up uh I do think there's some truth in that you know give yourself a little time before you look at the electronic devices so I walk down to the coffee shop I'm on the phone with someone and I look I open Twitter and I and I look at Twitter and I look at my DMs and and all these people are sending me Jackson like Israel just tweeted about you. I'm like, oh goodness, what is this? So I open it up and I look at my Twitter and we have this. This glorious tweet. The official Israeli gut this is the official Israeli government account on X breaking. Jackson Hinkle discovers Jewish roots, changes names to Finkel. Israel MFA appoints Finkel as latest envoy to combat anti-Semitism. No one knows the issue more in depth than me. Welcome to the truck. Like, what is this? I could have written a better tweet. I could have written a better April Fool's tweet for Israel than this. Off the top of my head, I, you know, I can't think of one. But like... Even if they wanted to go with this tweet, even if I could have formatted it better, I could have, like, e even this picture. Look at this, like, look at this picture. They're clearly watching some footage over here. They're watching a video, and they have, like, the video um, sub bar on the side of their screen. Like, this whole tweet is just a mess. This whole tweet is a mess. Finkel? This is, like, well, it's exactly what I said. I initially tweeted this in response. I said, Israel clearly let Rabbi Shmuley run the official Israel X account and they're committing a genocide. Embarrassing. That wasn't even a great response and it ratioed them 7.1 thousand likes to 3 thousand likes. Uh, I think I did better with this one. You know, I was waking up, so I was like, what do I, what do we have? This is such a weird tweet. Why are they tweeting this at? This is, a, this is a country tweeting this at me what am i supposed to do i have a country tweeting that like what am i supposed to do here i tweeted this i said my first act as israel's official envoy for my first act as israel's official envoy i moved to arrest benjamin Netanyahu. this one did better Eleven thousand likes to three thousand likes so we ratio them not once but twice and you guys got in on the fun as well 